Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the next update for my uh, rolling Polish pan of the year. I'm calling this my 21 in 2021 because my goal is to use up 21 products throughout this project. But before I jump into my progress, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. But let's just start with the first item. So the first item that I have is this one right here, which is my Dior Air Flash Foundation. This one I think has been in since the start of the year, so it's been quite a while um, since I started working on this. And my goal with this is to finish it up, and it is in the shade 300, which is a bit of a too deep of a shade for me. I use this... Right now I use it as like a foundation on the outside of my face, as well as a mixer foundation, but... Um, in winter I can only use it as a mixer because it is deeper than me and it's also a bit too warm for me um, or like pink toned so um, with this one though I have used it 34 times in the past month which is quite a lot but um, I think I did film my update for this a few days too early last month and then now I'm filming it a few days late so that's why it's been more than 31 days or 30 days um, so I have used this basically every single time I've done my makeup and I thought I was going to be able to finish this in this update. It's just a tiny bit left. Like, I've been saying throughout this whole project that I wasn't sure how much I had left. It could be up here, it could be down here. I just had no clue, but I'm feeling it and it's definitely getting low. I think it's like down here and I really was hoping to finish it by this update, but I didn't quite do so. But I think that this will definitely be done by next month but who knows maybe i'm wrong but i just have a feeling that this is almost done now so i'm excited to have had some really good progress on this and also since i'm getting more tanned now in summer i am using more of this every time i use it so that's also probably why the progress has been more significant this past month the next product that i have is my becca under eye corrector i have mine in the shade light to medium and this right here is where i was with this up uh, last update and my goal was kind of to um even out those kind of downward edges it was like kind of like a half moon and i just wanted to take down and even out those um kind of ends of the half moon if that makes sense and this right here is where this one is at the moment so you can definitely see that i was able to use up quite a lot and i was definitely able to even out those kind of bottom bits and i have reached for this 30 times in the past month so not quite every time i do my makeup but quite often um definitely on a regular basis and i'm getting quite close to finishing this up which is kind of a bittersweet thing for me because i i introduced this because it was something that i didn't use every single day but since putting into this project i have fallen in love with this product and i love using it and I kind of don't want to finish it because I want to continue using this every single day but I do have now a kind of mini or like a little lock size uh, mini of this that I will probably jump into after I'm done with this and I'm really really considering buying another one of these um, if I can get it before it gets discontinued because as everyone knows Becca is going out of business and it's sad because I do really like this one but if I can't get another full size of this I will probably try the Charlotte Tilbury corrector after this but for now this one isn't done yet but I'm getting close and I think just looking at it this one will probably be done in the next two months. I don't think I can finish it in the next month. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think this will definitely be done in the next two months. Next up, we have my um, powder that I had in this project, and that was the Makeup uh, Gallery Smoothie Does It Press Powder. And as you can see, this one is empty, but you might have seen my last update where I actually repressed this. So um, it was just a little bit done outside the rims, and I repressed it into this compact right here, which is my Better Skin... A powder by Maybelline and I just like this because it has a mirror in it it has like a space for a brush so it's easy to travel with and that's kind of where I pressed it in so this is where I was when I was like this is how much I've left when I repressed it into this compact and as you can see this is where I am today so I was actually able to finish this powder which is very exciting so that is another product that I finished in this project which I'm super super excited about and I think again this one was in since the beginning of the year so it does take quite a long time to finish but I am happy to now have an empty and as always I will show you what I'm replacing now with at the end of the video but let's move on to the next product which I have in here this is actually the NARS Tahiti slash Laguna bronzer it's basically the Laguna bronzer in a larger size and mine was completely shattered so I decided to repress it into this compact which is one of the convertible colors by Stila it's an empty pan that I've had for ages so I wanted to use repress it in here and and this is where I was last month when I first repressed it. This is the first month that I've had this in the project and this right here is where I am today. So you can definitely see that I have some use on it. It's not completely smooth because this is the first time I actually tried dry pressing a product rather than using alcohol and I'm quite happy with 
this result. I feel like I needed to press it slightly harder in some areas, which is why that kind of side, for example, here has uh, worn down a bit faster. But I'm pretty happy with my first try at dry repressing. And um, despite that, I have been using this quite consistently, and I have 24 uses on this this past month, which is good. I'm also planning a different bronzer in my whole collection for the pan, which means that I've had to kind of um, divide my time between those two, and that's why I don't have as much progress on this as I possibly could have. But I'm happy to continue working on this, and I definitely feel like I will use this up throughout the year. Um, and then once I finish this compact, I do have a little bit left from that original Tahiti bronzer that I will probably repress in this again and then continue working on it because technically this bronzer isn't done until I finish that whole uh, product up. So I'm gonna continue working on this and yeah, I think this is one that will kind of wear down quite evenly and then eventually I will just hit pan and it will go quickly. quickly. So that is where I am with this product. Um, maybe not too exciting yet, but I'm happy with how consistent I've been with this over the last month. Then the next product is one that I've been in here since the beginning of the project as well. This is definitely one of the more long haul products that I've had in this project and that is my Clinique blush in the shade Precious Posey. Uh, this one I have used 30 times over the past month and this is where I was at the last update. And I am very, very happy to report that I finally hit pan on this blush. And it's been expanding quite, I mean, not rapidly, but it's definitely been expanding as you can see. I did hit pan on this after 123 uses. And that was quite early on the month. I think it maybe took my like five, 10 uses max until I hit pan on this in the month. So that's probably also why the pan has expanded because like I said, I have used it 30 times. So quite a lot since I did hit pan on it. But there's definitely a lot of product left and um, around the edges there is definitely a lot of product uh, but I am excited to now have something to compare it to because when you don't have pan on this something yet it's quite hard especially in pictures to see how much progress you're actually making but now when I have pan on it I'm excited to kind of continue seeing how the pan expands and hopefully we will be able to finish this up in the year and I think now I am more hopeful than I was at the last update so that's very exciting and yeah we're just going to continue working on this and hopefully have some decent progress to show next month. So let's move on to the two eyeliners that I have in this project. I have these two right here. Let's start with this little one which is my makeup liner which is Actually, I always say this in my place, but I don't know what the brand is because it doesn't have a brand on it and it's just a random one my mom gave me, so I'm not sure where this comes from. But it's just this silver eyeliner that looks like this. Um, as you can see, I don't have very much left of this and I have been using this uh, not as consistently as I have been in the past, but I have used this 13 times in the past month. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my progress lines. So as you can see right there, that is where I am. So that's, I started all the way up here and that is where I am now. So I definitely used up quite a lot of this. I think I definitely used up half of what is on this paper, but as you know with eyeliners as well, you can't use them all to the end because you can't sh uh, sharpen them towards the end. So I'm definitely hopeful that this will be done before the end of the year, but yeah, I still have quite a way to go. And my progress this past month wasn't as kind of consistent as it's been in the past, but I definitely am making progress. And I'm happy that I can always make a new line on it or like a new progress line. So I'm excited and I'm just gonna continue working on it. And the way I have been using it recently is as more of a highlighting thing because I think this is turning a bit and I don't want to use it around my eyes. But somebody did say last month that if it's going bad, I should just like roll it out and clutter it. But I'm so determined to finish it and it's not like it's completely bad like it's not like I feel like it's I don't know it, it doesn't feel like it's smelling too much or it's like too too bad but I just feel like my eyes got a little bit sensitive when I was wearing this which I think is because it's getting old because it is getting quite old in my collection but also it might have been my, the hay fever that I was battling with um, a month or so ago so we'll see, but I have been enjoying this as a highlighting stick. I'm actually not wearing this as a highlighter today, uh, but I usually use it underneath my brows, sometimes on my brow bone and sometimes down here. Uh, and that's how I've been using it. I'm going to continue using it that way. And maybe once summer is over and I know my hay fever is over, I might try this as an unicorn highlight highlighter and things again. But for now, I'm happy using it as a highlighter on my face. And I also forgot to say, I'm using most of my products today on my face. I'm using this, which I use almost every single day. I obviously use the under eye corrector. I use that every single day. Um, I am using this bronzer as well as the blush today. But with the blush, I always use a cream blush underneath as well, which is maybe why the um, progress isn't as consistent as this because I can't use as much because I also have a cream blush on but that's just 
like I feel like I need to use up other things as well so I can't just focus on one blush I like layering them so I can get to use out of two products but yeah I am wearing both of these as well so I'm basically wearing everything that I've shown you so far the second eyeliner that I have is one that I rolled in two months ago uh last month I had only used it twice but I have used it a bit more this past month and I've actually reached for this 10 times and this is the Colourpop cream cream gel liner in the shade puppy which is this beautiful kind of orangey shade that looks like this um like I said I have used this 10 times and I've used it on my eyes nine times and once I tried it as a lip liner which I actually really enjoyed and I need to make sure that I use it more as a lip liner because this was this like beautiful kind of pale orangey lip that was yeah it was just beautiful and, and it suited my skin tone really well uh but i'm gonna show you where i am with this liner and i'm actually really happy to show you that i have gotten some visible progress and um, last month like i said i only used it twice so i wasn't able to make a new line but i definitely have made some progress this month which i'm excited about and i'm happy to continue working on it and this one is definitely easier for me to reach for than some of the other eyeliners that i've been working on uh, previously this year because those are more kind of blue or minty shades uh, which I feel like it's an as easy to incorporate in like an everyday look whereas an orange is because you can use pair it with warm tone eye looks and it works uh, and it doesn't stand out as much so i have been enjoying it and i think i am gonna be quite happy working on this both in summer as well as autumn because i do like these kind of orangey rusty tones in autumn as well um, and then obviously more bright orangey looks like the one i'm wearing today throughout summer then the last three items that i have been working on over the past month are all lip products so i'm going to show you them one by one uh, the first one is one that i rolled in last month which is my rouge edition velvet by borshar in the shade pink pong uh, this one replaced a different one from the same range that i rolled out last month and this one is a beautiful kind of blue tone pink you can see it in the bottle there and i have used this five times over the past month which is pretty good especially since this is not my preferred summer shade but it's just this bright vibrant um yeah just pink lip shade and i think you've seen this in some of my videos throughout this month i have definitely worn it in a video and i did pair this more with my mauve toned looks this month but obviously when i'm wearing warm toned eyeshadows like i am today this doesn't really go with it so that's why i don't have as much progress on this as i was hoping for but i am definitely going to continue working on this and i'm not sure if i can finish this this year but if i can just get enough use out of this so i'm happy i might end up decluttering it like i did with the last one or I will just put it back in my collection at the end of the year. But I am excited to work on this. And it is one of my favourite uh, Rouge and Chine Velvet lip colours from Bourchard. The next one that I have is the Matte Me uh, Liquid Lipstick from Sleek in the shade Petal. This is a, a really, really pale pink. You can see it right there. And I have mainly used this as a, a mixer lipstick or as a cream blush. And I've really been enjoying using this as a cream blush when I'm going for those kind of cool tone looks. Today I'm not wearing it. I'm wearing a different... Um, liquid lipstick kind of thing for a cream blush but i do really really like this and i have used this 14 times in the past month and i'm hoping you can see that there's definitely a lot of windows showing i think you can see it right there and this is definitely getting quite low um i'm not sure if i can actually finish this up in the next month or if it's going to take two more months but i'm definitely getting lower on this and it depends on how many cool tone looks i'm wearing in the next month but yeah i'm definitely getting lower on this and i am really really hopeful that i will finish this up and i think that will be the first full size liquid lipstick that i've ever finished the final product that i have to talk about today is my lip gloss that is in this project this is the tanya burr in collaboration with eye candy lip gloss in the shade picnic in the park it's just this kind of corally like really pale coral shade and i have reached for this 30 times in the past month which is really really good and it's definitely getting lower and again there are some windows showing i don't know if you can pick that up on camera because it's not as significant or as prominent as with the sleek liquid lipstick but i'm definitely getting lower with this but i think that this will stay in for another two months because this is quite a large lip gloss it has eight milliliters in it so it's not one of those is going to be quite easy to finish it's definitely going to take some work but i'm really happy with 30 uses on this and if i continue that it should definitely be done in at least two more months so those were all of the products that i've been working on for the last month and since i finished up that powder from uh, the makeup gallery i'm gonna roll in something new and i have decided to continue with a powder and the powder that i'm rolling in is my rcma no color powder this one i've had for such a long time i think i bought this in 2016 so it's definitely time to finish up and as you can see this one is already empty and that is because when i use this since it has this stupid applicator that looks like this it's just like a big like oregano kind of shaker and um, it's weird but 
this one, um, I feel like it's hard to use. So what I always done with this is I put it in my little kind of uh, luxe size Laura Mercier container, which I finished up years ago. So every time I can I decide to work on my RC my powder, I put it in here. So as you can see, this is my starting point with this powder. And that is the final batch of my RC my powder. There is a little bit on the top today because I have been using it, but I'm gonna work on this and it's gonna be difficult to kind of track progress because I always feel like it's difficult marking where I am because depending on how you shake it the line is never I feel like completely even so I'm not going to mark this container I'm just going to work on it and go by weight but um yeah I'm excited to work on this and see how long it takes to finish up I don't use this really all over my face I mainly use this to set like under my eyes in this area right here so it's not going to like go super fast but it is a powder that I'm happy to work on every single day so I think it's going to be a good one to roll into this project and with that, you guys, that was it for this update. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'm not going to go out in the sun because it is a heat wave here in the UK today and I'm actually dying in front of these lights. So I'm just going to jump off and head to a park and sit in the sun and I'm so excited for it. I actually also have my annual leave this week, so I'm going to be off for a full week, which I am so excited about. And I'm definitely going to be more consistent with videos again because I know that I've been slacking a little bit in the last maybe two weeks not posting regularly but i'm going to try to go back to my posting every other day schedule like unofficial schedule again uh, especially since i'm off i feel like i can get back on track but that is it for today uh, i hope you're having a lovely day as well and i will catch you in my next video bye guys <laughs>